All right, now we will be looking at the requirement number C from the scenario two of March, June 21 exams, right? Uh, of which is related to the company, and we will get five marks for it, right? And what's the requirement? I'm repeating it for you. We will now look at the exhibit three from the exhibits one to four on which we have to comment on the quality of the planning and performance of the group audit and the audit of the components of the group discussing the quality control and other professional issues raised in respect of now it's time for as i said the company camera and margin already done so here is dean company Okay, Dean Company owns a small number of shares in Foden Company amounting to a 2% shareholding. The investment is accounted for as a financial asset at fair value through profit for loss. Okay. As required by FRS 9, Foden Company shares are not traded in an active market and the value of 68,000, which is recognized in Dean Company financial statement, is management estimate of pay value based on an offer received for the shareholding in april 2000 export the audit team checked the arithmetic of the management competition but did not obtain further audit evidence because according to the audit conclusion the value of the shareholding is below the group materiality level the latest financial statements of cordon company prepared to uh, 31st Gen X5 are included in the audit file to provide background information and show that company has net assets of uh, 550,000. Okay, uh, one more thing which we have to look at over here. You have identified during your audit uh, points, you have identified during your audit quality review. Okay, that's the thing which we have to identify. They have just checked it materially and just the background information, which is not the uh, enough of the evidence. So what we need to do further, let's dive in for solution. Now the uh, C part, okay. Dean Company. Okay, what we will say is insufficient audit evidence has been obtained in relation to the financial asset. The audit team should not just have accepted the management valuation. The audit team should not have just should not just have accepted the valuation management valuation management valuation of dollar. 68,000, which could be based on an appropriate assumptions. An offer of dollar sixty eight thousand may have been received, but this has also not been verified by the audit team. as there is no active market for the share. Fair value should be based on an exit price. Thank you. 
based on an uh, exit price at the measurement date and should uh, reflect assumptions which market participants would use including risk even if the offer was genuinely received this is not an appropriate basis for the valuation of shares especially given that the offer was made nine months before the year end an appropriate level of professional skepticism has not been used in the audit of the financial asset fair values could be determined close to financial year end and the 68000 might reflect out of date perceptions of the value of golden company from the information provided it seems that the financial asset could be impaired and is likely to be overstated in value dean company 2% share holding is recognized at dollar 8000 however 2% of the net assets of golden company at 31st january at 5 2000x5 amounts to only dollar 11000 if the financial asset is overvalued overvalued then any necessary adjustments would have a profit implication and this is not mentioned in the audit working papers
using group materiality in the audit of a subsidiary is not appropriate the value of the financial asset is less than group materiality but it might be material to Dean companies individual financial statements it is not clear that the individual audit team individual audit team second audit team determined an appropriate level of materiality as part of their planning of the individual company audit the group audit team should determine component materiality to be used by the component auditors in their audit of subsidiary balances and transactions and component materiality should be lower than uh, materiality for the group financial statements as a whole therefore it seems likely that the group audit team has not communicated an appropriate level of component materiality to the team auditing dean company while the possible adjustments in relation to the financial asset are not material are not material to the group they could be material to team company
individual financial statements. And there is a risk that an inappropriate audit opinion has been issued in relation to this supposedly individual financial statements. That's it. Uh, this is the my model answer for this part of the question that how oh, you should drop it. So see you for the next requirement. In the next video.